Do you like asking questions? I certainly do. In fact, look, I've asked you one already. I think when I was a child, I must have irritated my parents and teachers by always asking questions. Who, what, where, when, how, why? It's been very useful in my time as a scientist and it helps me with things like analytical thinking and strategic planning. But sometimes it can be a little too simplistic if you just want a glib answer. For example, I always thought that the square root of 4 was 2 until minus 2 came along. Recently I've been reading this book. It's called Where is God in a Coronavirus World by John Lennox. It's only 55 pages, small pages, and it takes less than an hour to read, but certainly the content takes longer to think about and to pray into. Questions are fine because throughout history people have always asked questions of God. Where are you, God? Why is this happening? Aren't you with us? Aren't you for us? The latter part of today's verse spoke to me and reminded me that now we know in part. Sometimes we can't just have a complete answer. So we cling on to what we do know. God is with us in these topsy-turvy times. Jesus wore a crown of thorns and went to death, even death on a cross for us. The same Jesus won victory over death and then promised to be with us until the end of time. At the end of today's verse, we read that one day we will know fully. And it tells us that we're already fully known by God, our loving and gracious God. Meanwhile, I'm also reminded of the words of the great 19th century preacher Charles Spurgeon, who said that we should remember when we cannot trace God's hand, we must trust his heart. Let's hold on to that today and always. He is with us and we can trust him.